hello hello everyone happy tuesday i hope you have had a lovely weekend since i last saw you on thursday life is very busy here this week i'm very glad for my crafty time today um, because it is one thing after another around here um, exams are finishing and end of school graduation tomorrow so my eldest graduate school just exams left to go so that's um i don't know how i feel about it but i, I think it's exciting i think it's exciting so for those of you who i haven't met before hi my name is ellen woodbridge i am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator um, in Australia on the central coast of New South Wales, which is about an hour's north of Sydney. So as you come in, make sure you say hi so I know that you're here and watching. And um, also make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like what you see around here. Now this morning, I have had to go back and watch last week's video. So I watched last week's video because I knew that I mentioned what I was going to work with today. I remembered one product of what I said we were going to play with today. Now this is the Stitch Whimsy Die. It's another product like the Stitchery stamp set that I haven't used before. I bought it. I went, oh, I'll use that all the time. I haven't used it at all. So we're sticking on our stitched theme um, and we are going to use that. Now, the other thing I am going to use, and I'm just checking here on my computer because I'm pretty sure it is still on special. So this is the Stamping Up Masking Paper. And it is part of our weekly deals. So it is about a dollar off. About a dollar off a pack of this. Hello, Colleen. How are you? Um, and I haven't played with this masking paper yet either. So I'm on a mission, apparently, at the moment to use up things I haven't already used. So the weekly deals are great this week. We've got our pearlized effects. We've got a couple of ribbons, a gold, a silver and a rose gold ribbon. Um, some of our printed vellum, two different types of printed vellum. Eden dies, um, sea glass shapes, we've got a treat box and some, pardon me, some designer series paper. So make sure you, uh, you check out this week's weekly deals because who doesn't want a things a little bit cheaper? Hello, Miss Myrtle, how are you? Um, the thing I thought I would pair these products with is the peaceful deer stamp set because i thought i might create a scene so here we've got some animals um hey leslie we've got some trees and we've got some sentiments so i thought oh i can do a complete card with just one stamp set hi jody um oh and amanda everyone's popping in um and i've got a bit of a starry sky as well and so it's starry snowflakes so i thought we could play with that as well and someone mentioned last week hey miss mon um that they used this stamp right here for grass um during my video on thursday so i thought we might give the stitchery stamp set another whirl and see how we go and i'll show you the card i made last thursday so if you want to see how this came together the video is over on youtube so it's like this stamp up here so i thought we could use it as grass we'll see how we go and i've grabbed out the matching punch that is all i have grabbed out so we're going to be doing this 
um, together. I'm hoping it won't take too long because it's five past 12 now. I have a two o'clock appointment that I have to go to. Um, luckily, it's not too far from home. So we're just going to have a play. I have a rough plan in my head. Uh, it, uh, it is sewing. It's, it's a stitchery set. It is sewing. Are you bought the oh you haven't touched it yet either okay we'll use it together i have heard some things about it so i'm going to i'm going i'm gonna hopefully learn from the things that other people have learnt and not make those mistakes so that's the plan. We shall see how we go. So I'm just going to flick us around and we will get working because I do need to do some die cutting to start off with. So and then we will go from there and see where we land. Please help me today. <laughs> I, um, I didn't get much sleep last night. After watching the... Um, the news of the day yesterday watching it all live and happening um i went to bed after falling asleep on the lounge so i missed part of it um i then couldn't get to sleep so it was all fun and games but i'm feeling okay i'm actually not feeling as bad oh i better flick this back around so you can read and see what we're doing i don't feel as bad as what i thought i would with only a couple of hours sleep but we shall see so if i sound a bit discombobulated today it's probably because i am i will turn off this light and then i'll get up the replay I shouldn't call it a replay because it's actually live it's just my second screen and i partially got there and i got distracted by the weekly deals and um also besides the weekly deals we've got our um perfect partners which is the dies that have come out to go with a number of our stamp sets so um they end on the 30th of september so don't miss out on those i have been sharing a number of them on here on facebook so i will probably be sharing another one of those this evening now i think we are zoomed in enough hey hamie cheryl hello miss carol thank you all for joining now i am hoping that the commenting plays ball today. Just going to do one thing here and see if it works. There we go. So, just going to check my phone. Hello, Michelle. How are you? Cheryl, can you type in a comment for me just so I see if the comment thing has been fixed on Facebook? Because I'm currently standing up, monitoring my phone and my laptop. <laughs> because this is what we do, isn't it? We've got to do the technology check. Da, da, da. So I can't see anyone has done another comment under Carol. Just let me see. But I'm so glad that there are 10 of us in here so far. That's awesome. No one's commented. Hopefully you can hear me. Okay. Right. Comment check. Thanks, Mon. You're the best. Okay. Comments are coming up and I don't need to refresh it all the time like last week. Because that was really, really painful. Okay, so I'm going to start with a piece of basic white that is a card front. So this is just half a centimetre or a quarter of an inch smaller than an actual card base. So I'm just going to pop everything else to the side and we're going to concentrate on the stitched with whimsy now these are die cuts so these actually don't 
cut out. They actually pierce and cut in two. So you end up with a pierced look. I'm hoping that makes sense. Oh, good. I'm glad everyone can hear me and see me. Hello, Sheila. How are you? Good. Okay. So just I'm looking at sizing. I'm thinking this one is way too big because this one is more your standard American size card, which is, as you can see, a little bit wider and a little bit shorter than our cards in Australia. Ours are a little bit taller and thinner. I just laugh when I say that because it's so funny. Hello, Miss Jane. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this as an outline. Okay, so if I'm going to use this as like a frame for my scene that I'm going to create and I'm going to have to cut some of the masking paper and cut this, but not, I don't need to do them at the same time. I can do them separately. So pop these out of the way, create some space, bring over our stamping cut and emboss machine and my plates right. Ta -da. so i have plate one i have plate two and i have one plate three which is the the bottom plate that i cut into so i keep my plates quite separate um i have a bottom plate that I use for cutting and then I have a top plate that I use so it does indent but I can see through it really really well okay I think I think that will do us that looks good so I'm just going to pop this in and hold it and sandwich it and I'm going to crank this through And we'll definitely be using some blending brushes today creating this scene so you can let me will this one to come up so as you can see i actually didn't cut a thing but i did create those pierced holes which is exactly what i was after so that is our card base done now i want to grab out a piece of masking paper so basically this paper has a tacky or sticky backing. I haven't even felt what it feels like yet. So after I put the indentations in this, we will know how this feels together. So I just want an exact replica of what we just cut. Okay, so that plate on, wind it back through, and there we go. I love how smooth this machine is. It's just amazing, and it just folds up to a nice smallish shape without, it's just compact. I love how compact it is. Then I can pop this back. I don't think i will be die cutting again but don't don't quote me on that fact because you know you never say never dies away because we don't want any drop dies or lost dies so as you can see i like that you get a rectangle that would be great for a sentiment and you get some nesting squares as well but today we are not using those. Okay, so pop this in and right, my big scissors because I'm going to save half of this masking paper because I don't need it. I probably will end up just using these scissors to cut out what I need. So who has the masking paper and has played with it?
that is the first thing I want to know. So my whole thing with the masking paper, I am going to... Do you think I can get this back in the packet? I think this might be the most challenging thing I've done today. All in and safe and can be used on another project. So what I want to do is cut along the inside pierced line. Okay. Did I just do that totally wrong? Kind of, sort of, maybe. Maybe I wanted it in a bigger piece so I can cover the outside. It's okay. I can use the masking paper to mask these edges off. It's fine. Don't go and redo what we can make work. So I'm literally cutting along these lines feels weird cutting into the perforations but hey it's going to work really really well for us i'm going to create some a hill which will give us a sky now i don't know if i'm going to sketch out the hill or just go free range and just go for it and cut it here on the just cut it here so this actually cuts really easily because it's all here for us but I am still just taking my time I'm not rushing through it because I'd like it to look fairly neat. I sort of went a bit rogue there, but that's okay. Because when you create a mask like this, you can essentially get three or four pieces. You can have the outside, which I have realized I cut way too thin, but that's okay. And then you've got this inside piece. So they're your main two pieces that you can use. Whoops. And snip. Okay. I will discard this because I don't think it will be useful for me. And then I'll show you. This will fit in this inside section here if you put it the right way so that masks off the total inside section exactly what i want hello margine how are you oh happy stamp anniversary leslie that's awesome so is that your anniversary as a demonstrator or your anniversary as a customer okay i'm just looking here I don't know if I want to grab a pencil and sketch it out. That pencil has never been sharpened, which means I don't have another pencil here. Oh, yes, I do. I have my little mechanical pencil. So I kind of want... Something like that. So we go down and we go up. Oh, as a demo. I didn't realise you'd been a demo for that long. So even though I didn't do very smooth lines, I've just given myself a little outline. I can follow what I have done. Just moving the paper and then I have a sky section and a hill section which I can stick down now this is the learning that I have found a lot of people have found that the stickiness here can be a bit too sticky so I'm wearing a jumper today which is pretty good 
for what we want to do. So we want to make this a little less sticky, but still have it sticky. So I'm going to stick it to my shirt. You could stick it to your pants, whatever works. And then we're going to... Oh, I ripped it. No, it's okay. It will go back together. I wasn't being very careful. Okay, let me just hold this taut. There we go. That's better. Okay, so I am going to put this together and we are going to create the ground. And then the other side. So, see, it's still tacky, but it's just not as sticky as what it was. Now, this bit goes to the bottom. And obviously, because it is masking paper, please be careful when you are pulling it up. There you go. Can't even tell that there was an issue. Now, I just want to this edge where we're going to be sponging along or brushing. Haven't even decided colours, but I know I definitely want green for my hills. Ah, before that you're making teddy bears. That's interesting. So no one has this paper because no one replied to me. So I'm assuming no one has this paper. Okay. Apparently David just finished doing something. I really wish I had the outside. But that's okay. I'm going to grab this other piece of paper. Masking paper. Just going to pull the backing off. We can always put the backings back on. Yeah, I'm just going to put this on my tummy here because it's a larger piece. And do it again. Some people say four times is the time, so you can see that I've got stuff there. And I'm just going to just mask along the bottom. So just like that. Um, let me have a look at my colours. I'm thinking some soft sea foam because then I can stamp our stitching in pear pizzazz. That's what I'm thinking. So grabbing some of this, tapping it off and I am coming in from the top here so you can probably already see how this is coming together. So if we go a bit outside of the parameters here, that's okay. And I'm just going to bring it down. So we're definitely going for subtle. Just want to go into that corner. So if we pull that back a bit, you can see how beautiful and crisp that line is. Now, while we're like this, I think we'll grab the stitchery. We could even just stamp in the soft sea foam and that would work as well that could work okay so what what i want to do sorry i'm just checking i'm doing so we just want it a little bit more than the ink pad. And I'm going to pop this around. I'm just going to go along the bottom. Okay, cool. 
could have gone a bit further. That's okay. Okay, this is not looking too bad. Now I may get a bit of lighter stamping on that side and that's okay. So you can see I'm just adding a bit of texture here to our grass. So I'm doing some stamping off. I need a scrap piece of paper. There we go. And do a little bit there. Little bit down here. Just need a stamped off piece there and I think we're all good. Ah yes, learnt to de-stick. That's exactly right. Hey Lisa, hey Linda, white cloud in Michigan. That is somewhere I have never heard of never heard of white cloud okay so i'm going to call this bottom bit done so just very slowly and carefully and you really do want to pull it back on itself so just slowly is just ripping a little tinsy bit I know what I'm after and I can't see it just want to slide under this corner here there we go so this is just a handy dandy spatula that I have Next, we're going to use the bottom piece and then I'll use this piece up the top in the same fashion as what we did for the bottom. So we've had no ripping because we did do a little bit of de-sticking. <gasps> we have a tiny bit of ripping there, but it's going to be the sky. So... And it may even flatten back down once I... Oh, that bottom looks good. Yes, that bottom looks great. Very happy with that. I'm just going to catch this corner. So just a bit of patience and time. And some finger strength, which I do not possess at the best of times. So just carefully going along this edge. There we go. Now the masking paper is fairly inexpensive for the sheets. You get 12 sheets. <laughs> Please excuse Owen giggling in the background. We are still on exams. Last exam is tomorrow. So I did just get the tinsiest bit and I'm actually going to rip it because then that can be a feature in the sky and that will be perfect. So where's my bottom piece? My bottom piece is... No, that is my bottom piece. Yes, that's what you want, Telling. So then I'm going to put the bottom piece over what we've already done. I'm probably going to de-stick that twice. Yes. So just a bit of de-sticking. Some people have found it really good um, and it doesn't need de-sticking. Some people have found it not so good good and are just having to de-stick so this would really work on any um anything so i've just de-stuck that a couple of times and you can see all the fibers from my shirt which is fine so 
Um, thinking a blue for the sky. Should I automatically go for balmy? Oh, that is not lined up how I would like it. So, take two. Much better. Much better, much better. Okay, so that's covered up the work that we've already done. And I'm going to, because we've got green on this side, I am just going to go this way. So then the blue won't show through. Don't need these scissors anymore. To the side. So Emma, good afternoon, Margaret. How are you? Yes, I did. That's why I'm extra tired today compared to what I normally am. So, balmy blue, but I'm going to go really soft because balmy blue can end up being quite dark if you let it. Oh, my blue one is in here. And I think in the sky, I will straight away, oh no, I'll do the trees first. I'll do the sky and then we'll stamp the trees and then we will add then we will add the um the stars from there because I don't want to um trap stars behind the trees because that'll look really bizarre. So I don't mind going out of the stitched edges a little bit. And I am concentrating it darker on the horizon. And then I will do it darker again at the top and maybe just have a highlight panel through the bottom. See how that looks like a cloud now? Did I not say that will be a feature? So we have one cloud feature from a small mistake. I knew I could make it into a feature. Now, I could use a darker blue to make this a more moody night sky, but I'm not going to. Now, do I like that highlight in the middle? just want to go the edges a little bit. I think I'm just going to go over with whatever is left and leave it as is. Okay. Now, I think this big piece of masking paper, oh, that, that very much has an edge. But that's okay. That is all I'm not good. sure I understand. Yep, you weren't meant to. Now, I'm going to save this piece for another time. I'm just going to stick that on my packaging because I can definitely reuse that piece. I did have another tinsy rip, but that's okay. As long as we don't rip the work I've already done, I'm happy. Now, I am just, I didn't quite place my mask as well as what I could have. So we will see. So just on that edge, it's just not looking as good as what it could. Okay, so what I think I want to do is take away that very straight edge. So you can see why it would have been good to keep the outside piece. But alas, we're not always perfect and that's... Okay, if I hadn't have gone as bold at the top, this line would be a whole let, a whole lot less harsh. Now, I do have that rip there and we're just going to go with it and it's just going to add some texture. I think we're just going to live with it. So that's my background. 
do you think everyone can do that thank you cheryl yes these products are available on my online store for anyone who lives in australia sadly i cannot sell out of my country's borders but that's okay plenty of amazing crafters in australia to have our products okay so is everyone with me for this hello miss glenda just need a drink so we're going to bring in our peaceful deer stamp set now and i have four different trees now that's a really good thing because we can create some perspective using these trees i had the birds singing out the front of my house today now i've got a frog croaking at the back door or somewhere around there so you can tell these um these trees are very well loved they are discolored but they are clean trust me okay do you ever trust a person that says trust me I think about it every time I say it. But I will. Okay. So just mounting them up. Do you need a bit of a... Is that one going to be too small? My hand is not going to cope with that. But that's okay. So we've got one there. And... Ah! There we go. I'm going to put this one. Oh no, they're all the same size. That's fine. I'll pop that one there. So, what I think I would like to do is put this one nice and proud there. And I'm just going to go that shade darker than what we have used and go with pear pizzazz. I did, Corinne. Thank you so much for giving me that idea. I think it looks really cool. Like, it looked good just using the blending brush, but it did add a little bit extra. Okay, not inked up at the bottom. We are fully inked. There is a blemish there, though. That blemish is gone now right so going to do this and then doesn't that look awesome and then i'm going to do the stamped off version so you've just got an extra one there but it's just a tinsy bit lighter so i'm going to create kind of the outsides first and do you know what no we're just going to create this one and then that one so just creating that perspective of having some really close to us and some not So the whole thing adjusts, it makes our ink so much more versatile that from one inking, I can get two, three, four different images. So I've got three and three, and I've got this little one left. Please excuse Owen, he must be watching YouTube rather than studying got these tinsy bincy ones here i think i'm just going to go there that did not stamp like i anticipated and then just one there i think i'm really really happy with that so you know we've got our groups of our odd numbers we've got we actually have no we do have three because they actually melded as one so what i might do is just re-stamp this one 
here. So it looks like we have a group of three and a group of two. And then we've got our stamped off ones in the background that are there, but they're not there. Thank you, Susan, and hello. Okay. So now I'm going to look at what animals I'm going to add because I'm thinking this is a pretty small space it's not huge now so far I've only used three colors I've used a balmy blue I've used the soft sea foam and the pear pizzazz should yes I should add in my starry pieces next now in my cut from class I will have my stamp chamois now i use my stamp chamois to clean all my photopolymer stamp sets because they don't need conditioning like sorry guys the school called um i'll call them back um if it's really bad lav will give me a call on my mobile um i use the stamp chamois for the photopolymer stamps because they don't need conditioning like our uh, cling red rubber stamps so the stamp and scrub and the stamping mist together condition clean and then dry so that is great oh thank you myrtle what has happened here? Oh, it says my feed has ended, but I am still going. So if you can still see me, can you just give me some thumbs up? I have reset myself. So that one goes so yes awesome thank you myrtle thank you thank you i really should put my phone on do not disturb but where's the fun in that hey okay so now we want this one and i'm going to stamp over the piece that we have done already in the same ink so we're going to have Yes, it was uh, phone calls and notifications on my phone, Mon, because I wasn't prepared. And I know exactly who who and why they are ringing me from the school. Let's just say that. There's no avoidance happening at all. Thanks for the thumbs up, girls. And don't forget to like the video if you're liking what I'm doing today, because I don't often do um do these types of themed cards and i really feel like or scene cards i really feel like i'm channeling my inner wendy woo so she does some amazing um scene cards now i'm going to bring back this piece of masking paper here and just very lightly put it down so then I can do that haha -ha. just those two extra stamps I didn't really want and I think maybe one more and I think we'll be I think we're done. Although I do want a little bit just there. So I'll bring back in this masking paper and just. Apparently it's lunchtime. So maybe a bit darker than what I wanted, but I'm going to see how it settles. But I do like it. 
tell me what you think about the stars and the snowflakes. I see them as stars. It's all stars. It's not snowflakes. Um, my scissors to close this. So all using the same ink. So balmy blue on the balmy blue. Okay. Now, what are we going to put as our animal? I feel like I want something really, really tiny, 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 tiny. But I don't, I don't know that perspective wise this is going to work because like that bunny looks huge or do I just add a sentiment tell me what you think it looks great I know I love it too but I'm just not sure about adding an animal so I'm actually thinking they're going to be too big or do I just add an animal in the middle and that's going to be our focal point I'll show you what I would do in the middle because if I did it I'd probably do this one punched out and put this like right here and that will be our focal point sentiments looks great sentiments okay Linda I'll wait and see so sentiments I'd probably be putting sending love and peace this season or I could do a let's celebrate just add a sentiment okay okay that's three But I think just this one D would also look really good. Okay, put this back and let's let's see. So let's celebrate would look really, really pretty if I just hugged the top of that um the top of the top of the hill that would look really really nice and then we've got like i call it white space because it's the least pattern things on the page or the card above and below which means if we're going to use this we're going to need the stamparatus which i shall get out just behind all of you gorgeous people living inside my laptop i'm so sorry owen has no volume control yeah but then corinne i would want to hand cut it out but yes you are right i don't think i want to hand cut that out today just not having a great hand day i think i did some of my office work today and my hands are i don't want to push them too much so pop this in the stamparatus get it approximately where i might like it now what i'm going to use because this stamp is thoroughly sticking to my finger i'm going to use the eraser on the back of this pencil And it actually sticks less to the eraser so you can just do that I'm so sorry my head's gonna get in here okay I'm gonna close this and see how it looks on the lines of the plate that actually isn't half bad what colour? What colour, what colour, what colour? I'm thinking, does it go up a little bit? No, it's not bad. Colour, colour, colour. So 
Hercules green. Hercules blue. Yes, yes. And thing is, there are so many options we can do, Corinne. Oh, they would all look good. I'm maybe vibing some Calypso Coral. Just for that pop. Hello, Miss Donna. How are you? Okay. Don't, don't, don't come at me with this one. I'm just feeling I want a little bit of brightness. And I think Calypso Coral, because we've stayed with the Subtles colour family. So, you see, I'm going to stamp it a second time. Great thing about using the Stamparatas, you can really build that colour up. Now, I'm thinking we could do with some iridescent rhinestones, maybe, or elegant faceted gems, just for a bit of bling. This isn't the card I was planning. I know early espresso would also look good, but I actually like the pop of colour. You know I'm a colour girl, Mon. Okay, I'm just going to throw out a bit of this rubbish. Just letting that ink settle. But early espresso, good choice. The D, also a good choice. But I've got the connection because this is just sitting on the hill. Um, so if I had a head up in the sky, it would have been a bit floaty. But it's just sitting on the top of this hill. And you can still see some of the grass um, through these, through the trees. Even though it was only subtle stamping. Just seeing. You can just, just see it. But that's okay. Oh, thank you, Ingi. Ingi, Inga. I always forget. I'm so sorry. I'm the worst. Okay. It's okay. Oh, Siri says it's okay. You, li you love the pop of colour, Corinne. Thank you. Okay, now that I don't need that anymore. Get my finger under there. I do like this let's celebrate sentiment. It just works. Works beautifully. And we put that back. I am aware that that one's over there. While I'm going and cleaning, I should just do that. Then I know it's clean and ready to pop away. Okay, Stamparatus out of the way. Now, you guys were talking about the lying down one. I'm going to show you that that may actually work. I could still make it work. It actually goes this way. I just I just think it's too big. Because I've put so many of those small trees in the foreground, I think if I had the larger trees in the foreground, it would work better. I think it looks like a giant, a giant deer. I think it's a bit weird too big yeah but spatially it does fit it absolutely spatially fits it's just perspective perspective is a funny 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 thing and i have made this piece significantly smaller and i do want to snip the tinsiest bit off this edge because i didn't center the die I keep on looking at it. What about the rabbit? See, I thought the rabbit, because they're all they're all designed to go together. The rabbit still is the same height as those trees. Doesn't want to come off. The rabbit's taller than these trees. So it just looks weird. But happy to show you. Okay, so is this centered? I'm going to grab out my ruler because it's annoying me actually. Oh, it goes 
there. I'm just going to pop that one in there, creating a bit more space than normal because apparently I haven't been as messy. Um, ruler. Approximately one and a half. Yep. Oh, do you know what? It's probably only about a millimeter. <laughs> I'm not going to cut it for a millimeter. He's a giant jackrabbit. Yep, maybe he's a giant feral rabbit. We certainly have enough of them over here, but uh, you're not telling the wrong story. Okay, so let's just let me see what's going to work as our card base. I actually think that is way, way, way too strong. Too strong. But we had to try Calypso Coral. It's great as a pop colour, but that's a hard no as a card base. Okay, so thinking possibly the balmy blue. Possibly. I just grabbed out two colours there. Highland Heather is definitely not going to work. If not, I was even thinking like popping it on crumb cake or a grey. Barmy blue ain't gonna work. I know whisper white will, but I I would like that contrast. Try and put these back where they should be. Smoky slate is always my friend. Let me have a looky see here. Oh, I like that. And then it just turns into a very simple all occasions card. This could be a really nice masculine card. And we've used the masking paper. We've used the detail of the die to encompass our scene. Hello, Miss Donna. How are you? Now, I've lost my glue. Though, you know what? That would look great. Because we've gone so simple, I think that would look great on dimensionals. So, let's go with dimensionals. I didn't mean to do that. I grabbed the edge. Dimensionals, dimensionals. Now, we're not going to be shy with dimensionals. We'll get the four corners and definitely support the middle. But maybe I won't go as overboard as some. And then some use four on a card, on a card front. And I go, no, what about the saggy middle? I don't know. Do you think you use enough or use too many dimensionals? I think I'm somewhere in the middle. Hopefully. And then support the two saggy middles. So one there. And then one here. Would pear go with the stamped off green? I can have a look at that for you, Miss Cheryl. I do like the grey though. I think the pear might be a bit too intense and I'm trying to avoid soft sea foam because I use it all the time. Now the pear looks fine but I don't think it adds anything to it. Looks, it's fine. You use a lot Cheryl. It's fine. Nye. Nye. 
just think the gray like grounds it I'm looking at the screen so I don't know the gray just grounds it Oh yes, you try. Are you are you frugal person, Corinne? That's not a bad thing to be frugal. Don't mind that at all. And then we'll just have a look for a few blingy bits because we've gone. Although this is a stamping and paper cart with a few accessories. You like the grey, okay? Yes, yeah, Smoky Slate is definitely a firm favourite of mine. So when, because I don't have any wiggle room, I try, and that is, it's crooked. Let's see if I just place these down in the right kind of fashion or if they've really taken they've taken but I try and get it even then place it down but that's fine it can stay crooked it's a handmade card handmade okay I don't think opal rounds will work don't want rhinestones don't want iridescent pearls classic matte dots no iridescent rhinestones I think they're not earthy enough. Where if I use like the, the clear, hmm. yeah, the iridescent rhinestones are throwing way, way, way too much pink. What colours do I have there? Uh, no, it's too red. Too bling, too bling. Could you use some of the um, faux sea glass shapes and just pop them around the bottom, around where the trees are? So these are the two options. I'll put the rest away. We have our elegant faceted gems which i would probably use just three of the clear around the let's celebrate or i could use and this i'm pretty sure is pear pizzazz i can use some pear pizzazz and some white uh, faux sea glass shapes just around the bottom of the trees here <gasps> hello mr bobby how are you Yes, I know, Monica. I thought of that afterwards. You like the faux sea glass, do you, Bobby? So, elegant sea glass. Loving those doesn't help me because I've just shown. Okay. I'm going with my gut because I actually really like the sea glass. It was something that wasn't in my head. Yes, the sea glass. Okay. Now they're all different shapes. So they're hopefully just going to just going to be a bit of texture. Just a bit of rocky rocky texture down here oh, see putting them together is much more okay, it just looks more natural when they are all together so you just want to get the shapes that are going to work really really nicely together that one's upside down now. There we go. Okay. There's that one. Um, so I've got five there. And I'll just put a row of them under 
this big tree. So you get a really nice big bulbous rocky one. Come on, come on my friend. My friend doesn't want to play. How rude. Right. And these are also in the weekly deals. So I've used three things in the weekly deals today, which is a bit fun. I've used the masking paper. Oh no, is it just the masking paper that's in the weekly deals? I think it is. But we've used a couple of things we've never used before. And that is always a good thing. So I've used the masking paper and I finally used the Whimsy dice. Okay, and that dropped. I don't think I have enough, um, as I call it, a goo bar. I don't have enough on the, on the end of this to make it work. If I pop all this stuff that's being pushed to the side back up that will work there we go and that one can go just in there and i think one more at the top here and i think that's just added the texture that we needed there's no because they're because they're sea glass and they're matte it's just added what we need Thank you. I'm glad everyone likes where we ended up. So a great masculine card. Didn't intend this being a masculine card, but it's worked out. We used our stitched again to create the grassy knoll. Um, we've used our blending brushes and our masking paper, and we've learned the importance of um, D sticking our masking paper a number of times on I just use my clothes because it's not going to ruin my clothes at all um, in fact it depilled my clothes just a little bit which is nice so we've used two stamp sets just going to grab those back so we used peaceful deer and stitchery We've used our faux glass shape. So I've used stitchery twice now. I'm so very impressed with myself that I've managed to use it twice. And we used the stitch with whimsy dies. So I actually might put this one over here and then this one here. So then you can see what I've done. So, and we used a couple of blending brushes because they are amazing and I did use the masking paper as well I'm just going to pop this piece back onto here because that is a piece I can totally use and we used the masking paper so you get 12 sheets in this and for this project I've used half a sheet to create this project so that works well for me i can um definitely use that more and get need supplies or products go to thank you miss cheryl so i'll zoom out so you can absolutely see what i've used there we go there we go but i'm glad you could see it a bit zoomed in while we were making it so does anyone have any questions at all about what we did today? Because I am here to help and to answer your questions. Thank you, Marjean. Thank you, Corinne. There's no link there, Cheryl. But I will have a link in the um, description box very soon after I am finished so yes thank you so much guys thanks for your help it's always great having your expert advice can you imagine how many years of experience we all have together oh 
weird Cheryl it's all good I'll pop it in the description box so I hope you can come and join me on Thursday for a mystery project it's a mystery project for me because I'm not sure what we're going to be doing I don't know I have absolutely no idea so I'll find something because I have I'm not short on craft supplies here but um, we will find something to play with over on Thursday. If you would like to join me for the mystery project, please make sure you have subscribed to my YouTube channel um, and you've hit the bell for notifications on when I go live. And you can do the same thing over here on Facebook. You can um, like and follow my page. And it, when you're in a video, there are three dots. You can press that and you can receive um what does it say it says oh it doesn't because i'm logged in as me but it does say you can receive um notifications when i'm live so thank you so much have a wonderful couple of days and i will see you on thursday just leave any extra comments or questions below and i'll get back to you bye